welcome back to another vlog, a day in my life as a content creator and as a financial rep. So the previous time I did a vlog, I actually share a bit more about what is it like working a couple of pets. Today, I would like to take you on another journey with me, but in a different perspective. So today, I will be working by myself and I hope to you know, give you perspective on how different they're doing an independent role can be and perhaps if you are looking to venture into content creation or be an agent or to start your own business perhaps this is something that you would find helpful so right now it's about 11.54 I actually slept in today because I've been having really bad sinus today is just gonna be me myself I honestly don't feel 100% comfortable doing things myself every time but after, you know, sometimes doing what I'm doing, I actually started to appreciate a lot more alone time. Just thinking what best fits me without having to think of, you know, other people in the camera. And I have decided that, okay, I will head over to Gentle Girls, one of my favorite place where I will be having lunch there by myself. And I guess it's gonna be okay. I'll see you guys in a bit when I reach the place. Okay, here with me is my water bottle from Montego, my snacks, my bag, pack feet, and my baby here, my portable car. <laughs> Not forgetting my baby over here. Usually when I eat by myself, I don't really like like, you know, huge crap. It's not gonna really like help me unwind and distress. So I kind of like to go to places like quiet, comfortable, cozy perhaps. And uh, we put food. Oh my god. What I'm gonna eat. This is my outfit for today. If I'm alone, I like to feel comfortable. This pants from Cloudy. Absolutely one of my favorite pants. The green top as well. It just fits really nicely. I can't wait for my food to come. <laughs> So I was on my way to the office, this lady was saying that like I don't like an S burger. Last time when I was younger, I wanted to pursue the S burger's role but because I was in marketing, I felt the experience was more important so I kind of give up on the travel and fun. So yeah, S burger was a dream that I never accomplished. Right now I'm going to get coffee. Hello. Oh, I'm going to get coffee. You know what? Even though I've been telling all my friends that if you want to build your business on social media, you have to be shameless and really telling and sharing with people who you are. But sometimes when I take like videos like that, even like now, right? Or like just now when I was in the office when people are around, I still can't help but you know feel shy about filming. I don't know. I get a little bit like, oh, what if people find me annoying or like, oh, an influencer taking videos again, you know, stuff like that. Feeling uncomfortable is a very normal feeling. I try to tell myself like, you know what you're doing gets you somewhere and regardless if it's uncomfortable, just go ahead and do it. When you see results from your hard work, you will realize it doesn't matter so much anymore. So I just kind of got judged by him. That's my close friend's work. Whenever 
first started, I was like all over the place. Now, eight months in, I am a lot more balanced. Like I know what I need to focus on better. And one of the things is to have effective communication with the client. Right now, I am gonna spend some time to really reply messages. And then after which, I will look at my current cases as well as my previous clients before I look into new pipelines that I can build for my business. I would also need some time to look at my social media stuff and also need to spend a bit of time searching for an advanced Christmas present. Later on, my boss will be coming in to give me training as well. So literally, my day is good. So yeah, a lonely but not so lonely day because I have people around me that matters. I was actually looking through like my floor. I actually enjoy looking through like the content that I, I do because it kind of gives me a little bit of like reminder what have I been doing thus far. There are days, for example today, I woke up late because of sinus and then I had lunch and I did work for probably like 30 minutes before I meet the girls. By the time I reach back office, I start work and now officially it's about 7. Till 8.30, I'll be out to meet my mentor for training. But I still feel kind of like guilt that I am not putting my time into good news if I were to wake up earlier today or not meet the girls today. Then um, perhaps I could get more stuff done. But just now, I was looking through like my entire schedule. I realised that I actually have 10 sales appointments across like the entire week. So technically speaking, it is okay for me to kind of take time off. But before I look at things logically, I do have this tendency to feel like guilty that I'm not optimising time even though that's not true. Oh, guys, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Some noise growing. me. I... And hungry. <laughs> Earlier on, I was playing some campaigns for a uh, brand engagement, and I'm done. So what I need to do next is one client item, and after which I'm gonna plan for my script because I was invited by one of the agency cluster to do a sharing about my insurance journey. Hey, boss. This is my boss, Eugene. He has been the one guiding me. Honestly, he did not expect me to be filming, but you know, Lao Ban, when it comes down to hiring a content creator, you know that filming is very common, right? Mm. <laughs> Ever since I joined, do you feel that there's a lot of change in me? Can you come in a bit because you know, the YouTube filming has to be good? Okay, I'm not just... supposed to be. <laughs> You, you have a direction, you know what you're doing. Back then, I know you, of course, you're working in corporate. But every time when we hang out and we go makan and all, you see a lot of things. You want a lot of things in life. You want, to, you want to do well in life, but you don't have a focus or direction. You don't know how to get there. Even get though I where. want to get somewhere. Yeah, but you don't know how to get there. You don't know what bus to take. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. Uh. Okay. Those who may not know her, right? Okay, she is quite a yes woman. You know what's a yes man, right? Someone who has a hard time saying no to people. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not saying in a bad way. Okay, but I'm saying that, you know, when people ask you to um, do this, she will say okay. Mm -hmm. And people like, you know, do something wrong or what, she just, you know, keeps, keeps to herself everything. It's a very common trait. They have to please people like in general. Basically, she's not just basically, people pleaser. It's just kind of like, maybe I don't want people to feel, 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 feel bad. Feel bad. Feel bad. So then but, I just like, okay but, like, if it makes you feel better, like, uh, okay, But sure. then again, it's not okay. Uh, yeah. I always tell you that it's not okay. I am more whole as a person. I can make my own choice right and independently. Yeah. Better lah. What is like one thing that I have to improve on? Work on your instincts more lah. Huh? You have very strong instincts. But then again, you still need to work a lot on it. Sure. Sometimes you still make you know, silly stuff. Okay, and another thing, uh, wow. Oh, I know it already, I just want one. That's uh, enough. Okay, okay. Next time, next time. Okay. Time management. Ah. <laughs> I'm finally done with my bullet points for my sharing session. And if all is well, I'm gonna do my slide. Now, I'm gonna head for dinner and have my training in the meets with my hand talk. So, yeah, I'll be bending now because I am very.
So right now, I have safely made it to the dinner spot and I just received a text from a lot of you guys who wanted to do a Zoom call for a financial review. So, yay! Oh dear, you know I actually switched off the light because I was ready to go to sleep. I shall end the vlog here by saying that hope you guys kind of enjoy this slightly different side of how I am like uh, on social media. Today's vlog, I wanted to give a fresh perspective of how is it like when you're alone. I also wanted to share a bit more about how I think and what I am as a person, as an adult working her way to be her very best in life. So hope you guys find it interesting and also helpful. Please help me to like the video if you liked it and enjoyed it and also help to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yeah, I will see you in my next video. Um, I haven't decided what to film. So hopefully you can let me know what you would like to see and I can let my creative juice flow. See ya!